Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and welcome to our unboxing and hands-on of the Droid Turbo, the latest flagship Droid device on exclusive on the Verizon network. Now the Droid Turbo comes in three different variants. You see you've got metallic black, metallic red, and you've also got ballistic nylon. Now ballistic nylon will come in 64 gigabyte variants as well as 32, but the rest are only in 32 gigabyte variants. Now the 32 gigabyte variants uh, retail for 199 with a two-year contract and the 64 gigabyte variants go for 249. So that is the packaging of the Droid uh, Turbo. And as we take our sleeve out, let's take a closer look at what we have in here. It's all black. Uh, it says Droid Turbo on top of the sleeve. Droid Turbo, of course, on the device, Verizon logo on the sides. And we pull this out, revealing our metallic red Droid Turbo, which we'll take a closer look at. But this is a very nice device packed with a lot of features in there from uh, Motorola. The, now, let's take a closer look at what we have within the packaging of the Droid Turbo. Uh, of course, that is just a cardboard layer for your Turbo to rest on, which we will put aside. And then this reveals our um, a slew of uh, materials, so in, including things like our health and safety guide, quick start guide, uh, also warranty information built in there. So if you're looking for that, it's right there in the sleeve underneath the Turbo. You can take a look at that for people who love to read instructional stuff. Uh, there you go. You have it right there for you. So that's pretty nice. Now underneath there is the new turbo charger. This charger will give you, allow you to charge your turbo uh, for up to eight hours on just 15 minutes or even slightly less uh, according to some of the reps I spoke to. So what that means is that basically you can quickly charge before you catch a flight and you get eight hours of battery life on this device, which is pretty cool. I was told this will work with other mono devices, so we'll test that out and see and just, you know, just to let you know um, how it actually functions and works. And also, you've also got a micro USB cable. So that's it for the packaging, nothing else in there that is worth mentioning. Uh, and here is our Droid Turbo. Now, of course, you've got that gorgeous 5.2 inch QHD display, but before that, take a look at that 30, I'm sorry, actually 21 megapixel uh, shooter, I apologize with a dual LED flash there. Now the Droid Turbo comes also with 3,900 milliamp battery, so it's got a lot of juice packed in there for 48 hours of battery life. And that's running a Snapdragon 805 processor with three gigs of RAM. So you've got the latest in specs that you would expect from any flagship device. Now you've got your power and volume rockers on the right hand side. At the very bottom of the device, of course, is your micro USB uh, port. Uh, and the left hand side is actually nothing there. And of course your headphone jack is on the top. So let's go ahead and remove that plastic on there so we can actually take a good look at our 5.2 inch QHD display. So basically, yes, this is a Quad HD display, uh, which is four times 720p displays that you find, of course, on devices like the LG G3, and the uh, Samsung Note 4, as well as the upcoming Nexus 6. Very lovely looking display altogether. Now you see you've got uh, touch sensitive buttons there uh, for back, home, and multitask. Your front facing camera is positioned in the center and speaker on the top right there. So at least you've got a front firing speaker on the device. Uh, itself. Now, looking at the Droid Turbo, it, 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 it still has a very Droid look and feel. Now, some would say, you know, this is the Moto X, but uh, as we, we take a look at it and we, we fire it up, but let's take a look at it as it compares to the uh, Droid Max from last year. You can see the design is very similar. It looks like a Droid Max has grown up a little bit, changed a few things. Uh, so very similar design and language there, as you can see from the Droid Max from last year to the Droid Turbo. Now comparing it to the Moto X, which we have here in a second, you can see uh, it's a little different uh, in design. Uh, thinner bezels on the Droid uh, Turbo. Also, it's not curved like the Moto X. It doesn't have that ring flash. Uh, like the Moto X. Uh, so there you have it. It's about roughly around the same size uh, in terms of height uh, of the devices. So let's power this on and see what we have here. Now, uh, this is running Android 4.4.4 and will be updated to Android um, uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop as soon as that's available. So I want to show you some of the startup sequences here so you can actually see what happens when you actually start up your uh, this device uh, from Verizon. Uh, in here. So uh, I believe the SIM is actually built into the device. You can't see any uh, micro SIM slots, but um, overall it's a, a solid device. 
you can see the startup menu as we go through and uh, there we go so that is of course it's running basically close to stock android with motorola applications uh built in like you know of course uh moto and uh um, and some of the gesture features that you would find in motorola devices but showing you here we are running android 4.4.4 kitkat and of course, like I said, the update will be coming soon. So looking at that QHD display, I wanted to change my wallpaper as usual. And uh, so I can show you how the display looks just from different angles as I turn the device around. It, it's gorgeous, a lovely display uh, again. Um, and the camera itself actually does a fantastic job of taking some very solid photos, which you can definitely check out our camera video uh, soon. But again, look at, looking at, you know, this Deadpool, you know, all the black there, it looks very solid. And you can see his red pops out. So uh, that's just an, a quick example of what you get from the droid uh, droid turbo there again going through android 4.4 stuff uh, i don't know why i did it twice but um, i guess i was just doing as much as i could you know for you guys now there are a couple of the features on this device that you can use like a droid zap now motorola talked about this and said this is a feature that allows you to transfer send photos and files between any device so you can do it between uh any android device and also even also between an iphone because it basically uses wireless connectivity wi-fi there and of course you've got the quick wrist action for your camera uh to actually activate the camera now the camera itself shoots at 4k we'll shoot 4k video for you so you've got hdr you've got you know your flash you've got all your basic settings from the camera but you also have the ability to shoot ultra hd 4k video and slow-mo at 720p. So that is something that I've got panorama, panorama shot there, quick access to your gallery and things like that. Uh, so overall guys, I like what I've seen with the Droid Turbo. I think they've done a very solid job. Uh, but if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Do favorite this video and also subscribe to the channel. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy NTC.